Before we leave this chapter on compositions and layers, I just want to cover real quick about how you can create layers from scratch in After Effects. Sure, most of the time you use layers in compositions, it's going to be from stuff that you imported into the project panel. But let's go ahead and make some stuff from scratch by creating a new composition at the bottom of the project panel and use the NTSC DV preset. Name isn't important right now, we're not really building anything too fancy. Go ahead and click OK. And the way that we can create new layers from scratch is by right clicking in a blank area in the timeline panel. Anywhere in here will do. Once you right click, you get a new menu at the top. And other than a viewer, these are all different types of layers that you can create in After Effects. Some of these types of layers, like text and shape layers, we'll be devoting an entire chapter to a little bit later on in this training series. Now, if your timeline panel starts getting a little bit too busy and congested to find a blank spot, you might want to go up to the layer menu at the top of the screen. And from the layer menu, you can select new, and then you pretty much get the same options that we did when we right clicked in the timeline panel. In this case, I want to talk to you about the solid layer. I'm going to go ahead and click solid and the solid dialog box pops up here. Basically what a solid is, it's just a layer of color. It's almost like you were going to create a flat layer and just fill it with a certain color. That's basically what a solid is. Here you can specify the width or the height of the solid, or you could come down here to the make comp size button and click this to make the solid the entire size of the composition. You could also click this color swatch to pick a color to use for the solid as well. This white color is fine for now, so I'm gonna go ahead and click okay. As you can see, it basically just created a layer of white. Now here's another couple tricks. Command Y or Control Y on the PC will also create a new solid layer if I do that here. Let's create another one. Let's click that color swatch to get the color picker. And let's pick another color. Let's say blue, for example. The way we pick colors in the color picker is by clicking a color in this bar in the middle. And then we come over here to the left-hand side of this big square to fine-tune it. As we click in here and drag to the right, our colors get more saturated. As we drag to the left, they get more dull, faded out, and desaturated. As we drag upwards, they become brighter, and dragging them down makes them darker. So if we wanted a bright, vibrant blue, we'd go in the upper right-hand corner. If we wanted white, we can go in the upper left-hand corner. If we wanted black, we can go on the bottom row. Pick a blue color, and click OK, and click OK again. Now, let's say we want to adjust a solid that already exists. Maybe we want the solid to actually be much smaller, or we want to change its color. To change an existing solid, add Shift to the keyboard shortcut to create a new solid. So on a Mac, it would be Command-Shift-Y. On a PC, it would be Control-Shift-Y. And there are our settings. Maybe we could make this 100 by, and then hit Tab, 100. So we have a solid that's 100 by 100, and we click OK, and now it's much smaller. Solos are really important for a couple different reasons. For one, oftentimes for design elements, you just need something like, oh, just like a blue bar that moves back and forth or whatever. And a solid is a great tool for that. It's significantly easier than going back to like Photoshop or Illustrator or some other program to create a layer. Even if you were going to do that, if you were to resize that layer, then it would be pixelated and yucky quality would start to degrade essentially. But here in After Effects, as you resize the solid, you can make it as big as you want because basically it's gonna generate a, a brand new solid. So you're not gonna lose any quality by resizing. Another thing that solids are important for that we'll see in chapter seven is that you need to apply effects to something. So often they're used with effects. So if you want to add some fire to your project, you couldn't just apply fire as a background. You have to maybe create a solid and then apply fire to the solid. All right, so with that foundation out of the way of compositions, layers, and the project panel, a lot of stuff we looked at so far, we're now ready to jump into the next chapter and to get animating.